Hey Aquarius, welcome to Young Guys Tarot. This is going to be your reading for the second half of November from the 15th to the 30th. And it's going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Now let's see what the overall energy is for Aquarius for the second half of November. Whoa. These want to come, so we'll take them. All right, we have Night of Fire, passionate, adventurous, self-assured, restless. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. This card is coming up a lot. Okay, and then we have Renewal. Archangel Jeremiah. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of facts or the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Okay, so whatever this is. Something new. We're moving in a new direction. Very nice. Well, it's definitely movement for you guys. Okay. And on the bottom, we have Night of Fire. Motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. So someone from creative is going to give you advice. But keep focus. And you're going to be a leader. Okay. Right there. So whatever you're doing, you're leading people. Okay, what else do we have? For well, there he goes. All right. The, the Merlin. Ooh. Alchemy, justice, and balance. Yes, you're definitely creating your manifesting. On the bottom, we have the frog. So this is clean, cleaning house, releasing emotional baggage. Yeah, so whatever doesn't serve you right now, you need to release. And frog is also transformation, too. So whatever, when you do clean and release things, you get rid of the old, the stale, and new comes in. So you are manifesting. Okay. What else do we have for Aquarius for the second half of November? Patience and planning. So this is going to come in. you got to be a little patient. It is a seven. That's a very spiritual card. It's also a card of learning. And then here, trapped in fear. Okay, you may be fearful of something, but I don't think there's really any reason to be fearful. And, and fear is really only in the head anyway in most cases. It's, you know, you got to let go. And things will come through. You just got to stay positive. I try to stay positive. I know it's not always easy. Easier said than done, but whenever you're thinking of something negative, think of something positive. Think of something that makes you happy. Just change your, your thought wave there, and things will change for you. Okay, let's see. Let's go on to the spread now. I got something to flip here. Give me a flipper. Yeah, whoa. Go take those. So, someone's being sneaky, spying, spying or doing something here, but... Got the ace of wands. It's like you stomp this out. Whatever this was. That's what I'm getting from this. I'm getting that um I just stomp that right out. That sneakiness. Okay. Now I shuffle one more and then go with the next card for the crossing card. Ooh. Okay, there it is. I guess it does. Oh, the star. You're coming up your own reading. You're crossing yourself there. You are the star. You are shining bright. And I don't, I feel this energy feels so strong right now. I don't think anybody could put you down. I think you have such power that is really strong. Okay, I really feel, I feel, ugh, I feel like I want, I want to jump out of my seat here. I feel so much energy. And I don't think you guys have been feeling that much energy lately, so this is great. Okay, now, King of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be Taurus, or also could be Capricorn or Virgo. Um, coming in. Or around you I think someone is um, helping you financially or giving you advice financially or somehow being instrumental in helping you in your finances okay and here ooh, the Empress so might be some kind of secrets from the past that was revealed or something because they um, but the Empress is into power this is like being the Emperor um, a connection 
I know she's the high priestess when it comes with secrets, but um, it just felt that came up right away that some kind of secret just came out or is about to come out. Who knows? It's in the recent past. Yeah, but you're you're start, just starting to get into your power here, just with the recent past here, going with the emperor. But the emperor comes up. Ooh, crowning. You have the lover, so this good partnership of some sort. That is crowning the spread, so you might have a, a new love coming in, or let's see what else we have here. Ooh, money is good. Ten of Pentacles, so you're going to get everything you want here, though. Your life, um, a happy home, and, and things are really going to work well for you. And now we have the Queen of Pentacles, so now we have, this is like a power couple, money. I You might be... It might be a business partnership, but it also could be a, um, a love partnership where you actually can work well together and you are very good at manifesting. And then, okay, so there was a little bit of competition or a little bit of struggle or um, you, had to have your, you had to defend yourself on something, I feel. But now communication is coming in. Something's moving in very quickly now for whatever happen this this is like done I think and and this is coming in now and we have the Queen of Wands on top who is very passionate very creative psychic and that's the outcome there and a lot we had the underneath here there was a lot of struggle a lot of competition but that's done I really feel like that's over what else we have we have Queen of Swords Hierophant like speaking your truth here justice and I think all that's over so let's do some clarifying on these cards now because it just takes us all away for a minute with this five of swords and the ace of wands we clarify those cards together please some clarification on those two please or Aquarius <clears throat> The hermit. Yeah, you went within to um, deal with whatever this issue was that you were dealing with someone that was being sneaky or or um, trying to steal something from you. I almost feel like they're trying to um, take credit for something you did. That's what I'm getting here. They're trying to steal your your creative. Um, I won't say your creative thoughts. For some reason, that popped in my head, but they're trying to steal something that you did. And you were able to put a stop to that because you went within and you and it's also Virgo there okay now the star why is the star crossing Aquarius because you can shine bright now in your glory the star huh. you're waiting for this to come in you created this you this energy that you were working on things that now you're finally shining. You had you did a lot of work, and it's coming in now. And why do we have the King of Pentacles here for Aquarius, please? Why is the King of Pentacles here for Aquarius? The Moon. I think this King dreams about you. I think you guys, with this uh, this power couple, maybe you're not together right now, but you are together in the fifth dimension you think about each other i know oop that's too many i want to know a card on this please no card on this for aquarius chariot yeah but i guess you guys are gonna come together quick now it could be cancer here um something's moved they're gonna be fast movement okay why is the empress here I really expect the emperor to turn out. Just feels like it would make sense to actually move from these pentacles into the emperor and empress. Let's see. Queen of Swords. Okay. So just recently you spoke your truth. You um stood up for yourself and or you cut someone out or you let people know where you stand. And that's how you became the empress here the recent past because you're not taking anybody's bull. Why? Let's give me more clarification. 
the lovers crowning this spread, please. Why is the lovers crowning this spread? Hmm. Someone's holding on real tight to you. I feel they, they don't want to let you go. They don't want to see you with anybody else, and they don't want to let you go. Let's see. Get another card on that, please. I want to clarify that four of pentacles. Yeah, they're worried about the competition. They find you very attractive, and they know that you get attention. And they don't want someone coming in. Let me see the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. I think either someone went on vacation recently or going to go on vacation and that's where you're going to be able to um, recharge and be able to manifest this new abundance. Or you're meditating on it and you're able to do it that way. Are you going deep within in order to figure out how to create this abundance that you want? So you also have this Queen of Pentacles too and the King of Pentacles. There's definitely abundance here. I'm going to clarify this Queen of Pentacles now. For Aquarius. The Magician. See? You are manifesting. You have Merlin here and you have the Magician. That's one and the same there. You're definitely manifesting. You're doing very well with it. You're manifesting money. Okay, and the nine of wands. Why is the nine of wands here for Aquarius? Lovers. Okay, so we get the lovers again. So there's definitely... Someone had to maybe fight for you. Or you had to fight for someone. Because it's the competition and we have that. Nine of Wands are very protective over you. Because they're holding on so tight. Okay, and the Eight of Wands, please, for this clarification on that. Wow. Got the Ten of Pentacles again. So you, I think you're going to get some information about some money coming in for you. There's, It's coming in quick. Or it's just the idea that this money is going to come in quickly. Money comes, it's coming quickly. I, think, I don't think you expect it. Okay, and why do we have the Queen of Wands over here for Aquarius? Why do we have the Queen of Wands for Aquarius, please? Celebration. Okay, so you're celebrating something with this Queen of Wands. Now, this Queen of Wands is, is very psychic, in tune. Um, able to manifest, very creative. I think you're celebrating something that you accomplished in, no, in the second half of November. Somehow you're going to get this money and everything. You're going to celebrate all this money because you are very creative and you're able to accomplish this. And on the bottom we have the full. So we have a new beginning, a new start. And this also could be you, Aquarius. So this is very nice. So there's definitely a love, someone coming in that they're worried about the competition. And they got it here twice, so it's a very powerful connection. Coming in quick once once they come. Once that, but any once you guys have, but you're, I know you guys are meeting in the fifth dimension. You are meeting in your dreams. You dream about each other. Now whether you met or not, I don't know. It could have been you probably met in a past life but whether you met in this lifetime that'll be different for different people some people have and some people haven't um, but you are manifesting and you are you got this renewal so things are changing and you move in a new direction so I think you're moving in a new direction when this person comes in you guys are going to connect you have a very tight connection Well, Aquarius, please tell me what's going on with you guys. Comment and like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much.